Bats have a long history at Fort Delaware, hibernating through the winter in the dark recesses of the fort's corridors. They can be found sleeping between bricks and hanging from the walls all winter long. Uh, well, Delaware doesn't have really any caves or mines that would have the right temperature and humidity requirements for hibernating bats. Holly Niederreiter, a biologist with DENREC's Division of Fish and Wildlife's bat program, has been studying bats at Fort Delaware for many years. Fort Delaware, which ha it mimics, uh, it mimics a cave by maintaining a steady temperature and um, high humidity in the winter time. So we have bats that overwinter there. And we have documented all of, all of the cave bat species that occur in our area, with the exception of Indiana bats, which we haven't found in Delaware yet, have used Fort Delaware as a hibernation site. Each year, the division surveys the bat population at the fort. So we go out like once a year and just do a survey to see what's there. Unfortunately, we documented white nose syndrome there in 2012, and we went to do the survey there the following year and the numbers plummeted, they were down low, we found dead bats there. And in years subsequent to that, starting like in 2014, I think was the last time that we found any of the rare species of bats there. So right now, the past few years, the only bat that we've ever found there, that we've found there in the past few years, is the big brown bat. White nose syndrome is now threatening bats at Fort Delaware and throughout the Northeast. And white nose syndrome is a disease that impacts them in the winter when they're hibernating. When bats hibernate in the winter, they sort of shut down a lot of their body systems, including their immune systems. This fungus actually grows on their body um, and invades them, takes over, um, and causes a great deal of illness in the, in the bats. In addition to actually impacting their physiological systems um, by entering their wings, um, it also bothers them and wakes them up a lot during the winter. And during the winter, bats, in the, sprint, in the fall, bats sort of like beef up, they eat as much food as they possibly can so that they can live through the winter just on the fat stores. And if they wake up a lot in the wintertime, more than they should, then they can use up those fat stores and just you know, die of starvation. At Fort Delaware State Park, the Division of Fish and Wildlife has been working with Delaware State Parks to monitor white nose syndrome and reduce its spread. The fungus from white nose syndrome can be spread even when it's not growing on bats. It can be spread. It's spread by the bats. That's the primary way that it's spread. But it can also be spread just from the, uh, the spores or canidia from from the fungus, and those things are micros microscopic, but they're very sticky. Like when you walk through the woods and in the fall and you get those seeds stuck to your pant leg, it's kind of like that, but it's microscopic and you can't see it. So we try and prevent the spread of that by if you want to walk through the place where most of the bats hibernate, you need to wear booties and you can only go through with a guide. And you get to learn about bats when you go through there. Um, so we do a little bat program, but the main purpose is to prevent you from picking up any of those spores and taking them anywhere else. And also at the fort, there's decontamination stations on your way out. You have to shuffle your feet through them um, so that if you did accidentally pick any up, hopefully they would be released um, and kept on the island. Bats are an important part of Delaware's ecosystem, providing benefits to farmers, medical researchers, and the general public. All the bats in Delaware are insectivorous or they eat insects. Um, and they eat a lot of pest insects, including mosquitoes and also moths that like to eat the food that we like to eat. So they actually save farmers um, thousands of dollars every year in pest control. They are also beneficial in, um, their, in medical research. They have a, uh, bats have superpowers against viruses, and we could really use a little more information on how to have our own superpowers against viruses right now. The DENREC bat program is very busy, especially in the spring and summer months. The main thing we're trying to do is document where our different species are so that we can find ways to protect them in, in where they are. Protect those habitats, um, give people guidance if they come across them, that sort of thing. We do have a volunteer program where one of the things that, one of the ways that we collect data on bats is we have volunteers count bats as they exit from uh, buildings or bat boxes. You can learn more about bats in Delaware, Denrex Bat Program, and how you can help Delaware's bats on our website.